was worth saving. Hmm. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed hey neighbor, your life. I got a question for you. Have you been raised right? The word right is some positive valuation. It is close to or synonymous with properly or correctly or well. To be raised right could mean that you have manners. Amen. You respect others' boundaries. You have a work ethic. You do the best you can to put others before yourself. And you also know the difference between right and wrong. It's not always children that I'm observing, but it's also adults. You may not want to be honest this today, but there have been times when you looked upon the behavior of someone and determined that it was clearly the result of improper parenting. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Sometimes you're able to shake it off as inappropriate behavior, but then there are times when it is so egregious that it bothers you to no end. And when someone is raised right, it is obvious. When, when, when you say please and thank you, you've been raised right. When you show respect for your elders, you have been raised what? When you offer up your seat as a man to a woman or an elderly person, you have been raised. Finish that little bit of juice and don't leave a swallow in the container. Then you know you have been raised. When you thank God for your food on the plate before you eat it, you know you have been raised. When you get up on Sunday morning to worship God, no matter how late you partied the night before, you know you were raised. When I look at the diabolical behavior of that megalomaniac that occupies space in the Oval Office with other co-conspirators and purveyors of sexism, racism, and classism, I see the result of how he was raised. When I look at all of those around him who cared nothing about the poor and the disenfranchised, who only served for their own means and interests, I see how they were raised. And on this Resurrection Sunday, we find Paul listing some behavioral indicators that would suggest that our lives when they are in union with Jesus render some fruit that shows we have been raised with God. According to him, these behavioral indicators suggest that we have been raised with Christ and we are raised with him. Therefore, we live lives pleasing to God. The Bible says and Paul says, so if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. I love this conjunction if because it leads one to explore whether or not they have been raised with Christ based on the list of qualifiers that follow. Paul says the first thing that signifies that you've been raised right, huh? the first thing that says you've been raised with Jesus is that you seek the things that are above where Jesus is seated on the right hand of God. Now before you conclude that this statement means that you are to be so heavenly minded that you are no earthly good, let me explain. We set our minds on what is above not because of some heaven and earth dualism wherein heaven is a higher good than earth but because the risen one is ascended to rule from heaven. That's why we look. Paul is saying that if you have been raised right and with Jesus then your ultimate concern is God and thus God can become your God. This is the message Jesus gave to his disciples when he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Remind them, no, I'm not arrogant. I'm looking up because when I look up to the hills from which cometh my help, I'm acknowledging that I am looking toward a God who can do all and be all in my life. Is there anybody in here who walks around looking up? Paul says, if you are raised right, if you have been raised with Jesus, uh, then the old you has 
has to die. And I'm here to let you know, family, if ever since you become a part of the church, if your behavior has never changed, if you got the same nasty attitude you had when you met Jesus, then you have not been raised right. I know I'm not talking to anybody here at Elmwood Central, but I'm talking to somebody. When you are raised right, when you're raised with Jesus, things in your life change. The way you used to think about life, you don't think anymore. The way you used to talk and walk, you don't do that no more. Is there anybody here that knows what I'm talking about? So glad you met Jesus when you did. So glad you were raised with him. You can't have the same kind of attitude you had prior to your relationship with God. You've got to always be moving in the direction of becoming a better person. My daddy and mama were standing in the doorway saying, what is going on in here? My daddy walked over and said, who did it? And nobody said nothing. We all just stood there looking. He said, I'm going to ask you one more time, who did it? And nobody said anything. He said, well, everybody line up. And I guarantee you, I'll get the one who did it. And I began to stand there more looking. And my sister was about to crack under the pressure. I saw her, she's about to rat me out. Huh? And I wasn't too far behind blaming somebody else when I know I had done it. Huh? My top lip was quivering. Huh? My daddy was loosening up his belt. Huh? And then all of a sudden, guess what, y'all? My brother stepped out in front and said, guess what? I did it, Dad. My uh, brother was I only doing what he believed he was raised to do. Huh? I believe he was raised right. He stepped out and took the penalty for me. Huh? He stepped out and took a whooping for me. Huh? And all I could do was stand back and say, thank you, Lord. Somebody deserved to be penalized huh, because of sin. But the Bible says huh, that somebody stepped out and said, I did it. Huh. Here I am. Huh. I think you know who I'm talking about. Huh. His name is Jesus. Huh. He stepped out for you and I. Huh. Thought I was worth saving. Hmm. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me 